Okay, so what you'll need for this activity is two pieces of paper. They can be two pieces of blank white paper, paper or a light colored construction paper. You'll need a pencil and you'll need crayons. Once you have those things, we can get started. So on your first piece of white paper, we're going to make an anchor chart. An anchor chart is something like what I would do in the classroom on that big uh, pad of paper that we had in the front of the room on the back of the number chart. So this is to help you remember our money. This week in math, we're gonna be focusing really hard on you guys learning time and counting money. So for our first step, what we're going to do is write the different kinds of coins. So our first coin is a penny. So we're going to draw a picture of a penny. Now we can do a little smiley face on it. Okay, and we're gonna just put one cent. Okay, and then we're gonna put that a penny is worth one cent. And then we're going to spell the word penny. P-E-N-N-Y. Penny. Now what is the most distinguishing part of a penny? What's the, what makes the penny stand out from all the rest of the coins? It's brown, whereas the rest of the coins are silver. A penny is brown, so we're gonna color it brown. Now you didn't have to put a smiley face on it. You could have also just done a silhouette of, Abra of uh, Abraham Lincoln there and put a little top hat on him, even though he doesn't have a top hat in the picture. There. Okay. But it's important that we have that a penny is one cent. Now, what's the next biggest coin? The next biggest coin is a nickel. A nickel is slightly bigger than a penny, so I drew it a little bigger. A nickel is worth five cents. Five cents. N-I-C-K-E. L, and then we'll go back and dot our I. A nickel is worth five cents. And what color is a nickel? Is it brown or silver? Copper or silver? A nickel is silver. So let's see, I don't see a gray in mine, but I can probably use a white, or you can color lightly with a pencil. And then I can go over a little with a pencil. If you have a gray, that would be best, okay? So what I did is I just colored with a white crayon, then I went over it with a pencil. So now it looks a little silver. Can you guys see that? If you need to pause it right here, go ahead and pause it. It's important that we have this in our workspace so it will help us remember while we do our math. Okay, our next coin is a dime. A dime is the smallest coin. So I'm just gonna do a little circle here. A dime is worth 10 cents. A dime is worth 10 cents. And a d, -d, -d, d dime what letter do you think a d, -d, -d dime starts with? D. D I M E. Dime. And a dime is also silver. So same thing. I don't have a gray. So I just colored with white and then we'll colored lightly over that with my pencil. I'll zoom in a little so you guys have a chance to pause this video and copy that down. Okay. Our next coin is a quarter. A quarter is the biggest one. So I'm going to draw the biggest circle right here. It's actually only a little bigger than a nickel. So this is a quarter. A quarter is worth 25 cents. And 
and a quarter, even though it sounds like it starts with a k, k, k it's actually a Q, U. Q, U, A, R, T, E, R. Quarter. And a quarter is also silver. Once again, I'll give you guys a chance to copy that down. Okay. At the bottom, I want you to put things like this. So we know about counting money that four quarters, one, two, three, four. So we're going to put a 25 in each of those because those are quarter. Each of them is quarters equals one dollar we know that right so this goes at the bottom okay we also know that two quarters is half of a dollar let me make those circles better this is why we use a pencil for this not a pen right so we can erase two quarters equals 50 cents because that's half of a dollar We know that's true. Okay, so our next one is we know that three quarters, one, two, three quarters equals 75 cents. And I'm just gonna color all these silver here because they're all quarters and I want it to look nice. be a lot easier if I had a gray crayon and I'll hold this up for you to be able to pause the video and write this down it's always important to have reminders like this in your workspace just in case you get stuck this will help you remember and then hopefully memorize okay so if you'd like you can go back and make it nice and pretty you can go over your cursive with a crayon, make it colorful, make it yours. So, you might have guessed that our next page is for time. So what you're going to do is you're gonna make a big circle. Okay, big circle doesn't have to be perfect. If you need to get something to trace, you can get something to trace. Okay, then in the middle, make a dot. So your circle should look like this. Okay, now at the top, you're gonna put the number 12. And at the bottom, you're gonna put the number six. Need to pause it here, go ahead and do that. Okay, to the right, you're gonna put the number three. And to the left, you're gonna put the number nine. So your circle should look like this. Now, in between the 12 and the three, we're gonna put the numbers one and two, just like this. Okay, and then between the numbers three and six, we're gonna put the numbers four and five. Just like this. In between the six and the nine, we're gonna put the numbers seven and eight. And in between the nine and the 12, we're gonna put the numbers 10 and 11. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is right next to each of these numbers, we're gonna put in a different color or in a smaller, in smaller handwriting, what minutes they represent. So we're gonna count by fives. So the one would be five, two, 10, three, 
15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, right there. So that's about what your clock should look like. If you need to pause it here, pause it and copy. Now, we're gonna make a minute hand and an hour hand. It doesn't matter where they're pointing, but I want your minute hand to be written in the same color that you did your minutes with. Won't that make sense if your minute hand is the same color as your minutes? Yeah. So I'm just gonna do my minute hand going down to the six in blue because that's what color I wrote my minutes. Okay, and then I want you to trace over your hour hand, your, your um, hours in a different color. So I'm gonna trace over it in an orangish red. Two, three, four. And again, I might be going a little fast. Just give me a second and I'll, I'll hold up the paper so you can pause the video and Take your time to make it nice. If you mess up, it's okay. There's always a back, right? So, so far, this is about what your clock should look like. If you want to pause the video here to copy, go ahead and do that. Now, I'm going to draw with my red marker or my red crayon for the minute hand. And I'll just have the minute hand going to the 11. Remember, I mean, sorry, the hour hand. Ah, the hour hand going to the 11. Remember the hour hand is shorter. So this is what my clock looks like so far. And I'm just gonna label these hands just so I remember. Minute, yeah, I just made a mistake earlier. M-I-N-U-T-E is how you spell minute. And hour, H-O-U-R, hour. Okay. So, I want you to write at the bottom, half of an hour, H-A-L-F of an hour equals 30 minutes. And I'll hold this up so you can copy it down. So when we say something like half past 11, Go ahead and pause it. When we say something like half past 11, we mean 11.30, right? Or half past five, 5.30. Or um, half past seven, 7.30, okay? So these, again, you can decorate them. So like I could go around my clock if I want to with some green. Don't write over anything. Remember, the whole point of this is to be informative. We don't want to decorate it so much that we forget or we can't see what we're doing, what we wrote, okay? So I'm going to put these in my workspace. You can put them up on the wall, over your desk, or you can put them, you maybe you can even find a way to prop them up against your desk or wherever you do your schoolwork. Put these anchor charts up just like we do in the classroom, okay? So once you've finished your anchor chart, go ahead and look at your money and clock activities for the day, and I hope that these help.